Warning, the following game which you're about to view is rated M for Mature due to blood and gore and violence. Also, this is a horror game. There will be plenty of scary moments. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is TalesFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Blind. Last video we... Got some puzzles down and explored most of what's available at the mansion. I was about to go face Sean, but then I remembered something. The shield key. You need the shield key specifically to get into that attic area, so... I'm not actually going to be fighting Yawn yet, so... Oh, uh, let me put my ink ribbons away. Instead, we have to do... We actually have to do the music puzzle right now. Should I take out another weapon? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll have it in its place. I don't know. I should just be able to skip the fight again. Like you can in the first game. Which I didn't know the first time I played, but I guess that's to be expected. At least I burned away that zombie. Okay, so... I don't know how many more times I can use that doorway before the doorknob actually breaks, so... I think I'm just gonna go up to the second floor, which... You know, unfortunately, there are still zombies this way, so I gotta be somewhat careful. Oh, wait, do I have the music? Oh, shoot, I gotta get the music. <laughs> I won't be able to do that puzzle without the music sheets. Did I ever take out the emblem? I better check that, too. Alright, down we go. It's funny how there's a much smaller color scheme for the mansion in this remake. They all follow like one consistent color palette as opposed to the original where the designer just decided, hey, let's make every room a different wallpaper. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do have the emblem. Shoot. Now, uh, where's my music? There it is. Full inventory. Not that it should matter. We'll lose the music score in the inventory after we actually use it. So, got to take care of all the stuff and then deal with Yawn, which I have plenty of healing items in case things go terribly wrong. I hope they don't, but... Eh, I never know. Do know one thing for sure, I'm never going in that B room again. Ugh. I think I'll actually get a heart attack if I go in there ever again. Ugh. By zombie. This one's kind of hard to get by from that angle, because you don't get much time to really see him. Hey! There's a broken pot here. Is there an item to pick up? No. Alright, let's go. At least I burned away that other zombie near Yawn's place, because I actually have to do stuff, which could give it time to come back to life and be even scarier. We can just go down the first floor. Oh, also I gotta figure out where to use um those death masks. I don't know I don't know if I have to go back to where I got the curse book or if I have to go use them by that uh, locked door behind the staircase. Okay, let's go. Just gotta get past this here, Zombo. Which is kind of dark, so it's a little hard to see. Ah, shoot! Okay, I messed that up. Hopefully I'm not too badly hurt. I do have a lot of heals, so it's not that big of a deal right now. I actually have plenty of healing items stored away already on yellow. Gosh. Alright, let's play some music. Moonlight Sonata.
I guess showing the fingers and the piano keys animated would have been too hard. I know most of the time animators aren't experts with the instruments, so I get it, but <laughs> it's just kind of funny to think about. Alright. Oh. What was that on the ground? Uh, we'll figure out after we put the regular emblem in place. And there we go. What's this? Is it a dagger? No, Trevor's diary. Trevor? Who's Trevor? November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coach came with a plate of Skippy meal and said to me, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they are alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica. Lisa. I pray you are safe. November 26th, 1967. I'm gonna be so careless. I lost my favorite lighter. The one Jessica gave me for my birthday. How is it going to be that much harder to get out of this dark place? November 13th. The date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. Wish I could be there with them. But wait. Even as I'm right, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the man in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family's already. I pray for their safety. November 27th, 1967. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try to remember for my own sake. Hmm. Trevor, Jessica, Lisa. Is that going to be important for a future puzzle? Well, anyways, we gotta get past Mr. Zombo one more time. Now, getting past him on this side is usually very easy, so... Because he's usually kind of distracted. Did I hear another door rattle? Was there another zombie about to walk in from somewhere? Gosh, I gotta remember zombies can actually open doors in this one. It's only happened once, but it can most certainly happen again. Oh, uh. Well, hopefully it never happens in here. Because this is usually a safe room. All right. Oh, the clock doesn't move this time. It just has a compartment inside. This should be the shield key. If it's not, I'm going to be very confused. Another puzzle? When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. What? Oh, this is confusing. Uh... Uh, the helmet, shield, armor, and sword decorations. I'm confused. Wonder what I have to do. Maybe it's got a point to here? <sighs> Do I have any potential hints here? No. I'm going with the 
clock. Okay, um... I don't know. No. Okay, no, I don't have any clues. Alright. So there's like 16 possible combinations I've got here, it looks like. Yeah. Maybe some other pictures here could clue me in on, on something? A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Okay, so... That, that's definitely the clue. Oh my gosh, I'm getting serious lag right now, whoa. Um... Okay, I got it. The long sword was piercing through the head, which is the helmet, while the short sword was going through the breast. Which is the armors. Short sword, short hand, large hand, long sword. I got it. Okay, cool. And now we have the shield key. Good. Very good. Alright, wow. Already spent quite a bit of time here. But I think it's now time to go deal with Yawn. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. I got a lot of healing items. I'm not presenting myself with that much ammo, though. I don't have to fight. Hopefully. If I don't get trapped, I don't have to fight. But if I do get hit, I'm going to get poisoned and we'll need serum. Hopefully you play similarly enough and Barry just helps with everything without my input. Hopefully. Alright. Alright, let's go deal with Yawn. That is assuming Yawn is still in the attic. I don't know. Alright, there we go. That's still the same. There were shotgun shells here in the original version. I should probably try and get those too. Hi! Ooh, you look much worse than you did in the original. Richard! Wait, where am I? How did I find this? Um, should I help fight actually, considering Richard is here? Where, where did Richard go? Ow, oh shoot, now I'm poisoned. And I might actually want to heal right now. Because I think I'll die otherwise. The layout's kind of different. 
I don't know. Maybe I should fight a little, just because Richard's here, and if I don't fight, he might actually die. Oh, he's gonna strike! He's gonna strike! All right, Richard's still alive. Thanks. Huh? Richard! Okay, so we arguably get the worst staff. Great. Oh, shoot. I thought that was... Isn't there shotgun ammo still? Oh, hi, bye. What's that? Another shotgun! Oh, and this holds a lot more bullets. Alright, I don't know. I can't find any shotgun ammo. I'm sure there are, but... I'm not gonna run around forever. I am poisoned. Oh, I have to get it myself? Screw you, game. Oh, so I actually have to hurry or I will die. Shoot. Oh, I'll admit I didn't see that one coming. Alright, I could still probably get around him. I did not expect a zombie to be there. All right. It would probably be a lot safer to go down through the first floor. Hopefully I can still make it in time. So I guess Barry's not gonna help me with this one. Jill has to be responsible for herself for once. Yay! Okay, I'm still on green. I know this is a special kind of poison, so... It's probably not gonna affect my health, but instead I'm on a time limit. Just a general time limit. And it doesn't drain my health, but will kill me if it hits zero. Oh, right, there's zombies here. Okay, going in here, maybe not the smartest idea to reset things, because, you know, there's zombies in here, too. But I need to do this so the other zombie doesn't have enough time to catch up to me. As long as I tap the... Okay, good, he wasn't very bright. They're still upstairs. We're fine. Okay, cool. I don't know if that one's ever gonna rise up. Use it. There we go. We're fine. And there we go. That was more involved work than I thought it was gonna be. So I think that's... Definitely worth a save. I've got two shotguns now, and this one holds a lot. Let me examine it. Fires 12 gauge shells. Stars custom arsenal and also Richard's favorite. How's that compared to this one? A weapon that's capable of firing wide range. Oh. Well, this one's clearly better, but I should probably use up that one first, so. Alright. 
I think it's time to get out the masks. We should have four of them. I think I only need one healing item right now. I'll keep the shotgun for now, though. Un okay, let me examine the one I just got. Alright. Now I have to figure out where I use those, even. Hmm. But first, I gotta save. First, I gotta save. Got six ink ribbons, so I've still got a decent amount. Alright. That's gonna do it for this video. Next video, I'm gonna try and figure out where to use these masks. I've got two ideas. Until then, though, this has been TalesFan109, and have a nice day.